Oh, welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Ghost of Tsushima on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and we are playing through this game on hard difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the last video, we met up with our dear friend and former caretaker, Eureka, and we did another little side mission with her where she taught us how to make hallucination darts. So we can now shoot our foes with hallucination darts and they will go insane and start attacking each other. So it's a very, very good ability to have. And whilst we were traveling around with her, she was talking about memories of my father and my mother. But you can sort of see that Eureka is starting to get very old now because she keeps on being very weird with how she talks. Like she keeps referring to me with my father's name. She kept on referring to a bunch of Mongols as bandits because she couldn't see them. So Eureka's starting to get very old now, which is very sad because I do like Eureka. But that mission was just pretty much learning about the hallucination darts and a, a bunch of story about our mother and father. But what we're going to be focusing, focusing on today is planning our attack on the Khan stronghold. So I think we've got to come down here have a chat with Yuna and find out what our next few objectives are going to be. But I think we are getting quite close to the end of the game now. Obviously, we've still got the entire Norio storyline to do, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. It is a pretty good set of missions, but I might just forget about those ones. But if you desperately want me to do them, let me know in the comments below. But um, uh, we've also got the Kenji missions as well, but they're not very important. They're just funny. There's a lot of people suddenly here, isn't there? Where did all these guys come from? I know we had um, we had Lady Masako, Sensei, Norio, Kenji, and Yuna, and then a bunch of uh, Yarikara samurais also joined our calls. And then we also had those archers, didn't we? Those like bandits that helped us take that fort. But I don't think they're helping us attack the car. And I think they stayed at the fort, didn't they? They were just helping us for that one mission. So I don't know who these people are. Maybe they're the Yarikara samurai. I'm not sure though. Right, let's have a chat with Yuna and see how we're going to attack the Khan's stronghold. It's good to have some extra hands around here. How are you doing, Yuna? I like your coat. Very nice. A gathering storm. You are about to start a new tower. Are you sure you want to proceed? Progress on your current tower will be saved. Oh. Oh, that might be the, uh, you can do another mission with Eureka. That's why. Okay, lovely. I thought I'd done something wrong then. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do this mission. How are the others? Ready to follow wherever you lead. The sensei told them you're the only person on Tsushima who can kill the Khan. I can't do it alone. Or without a plan of attack. And we know he's at Port Izmi, surrounded by an army. We need to know the weakness in their defense, how to get past them, and where to find the Khan. Sounds like we need a hawk's view of the place. I know where we can get one. We'll have cover of darkness if we leave now. Port Izmi. We'll have a better view from the lighthouse. Just need to get up there. Without being noticed. Let's move. A gathering storm. Lovely. I think this might be another one of those stealth missions. Actually, I think this might be the kind of mission where having this upgrade for your techniques... Actually, I think I might be able to get it. But this might be one of the missions where having this upgrade is actually uh, beneficial. It's one of those assassination ones. Obviously, if you're playing this game dishonorably, you probably already bought this. But this talent right here is very good. It lets you kill two for the price of one. And this one lets you kill three for the price of one, which is great. Because there's quite a few bunches of free guards that sit around campfires in this game. So getting this skill is very useful. But obviously, if you're trying to play more honourably, then you're not going to really have much use for these. That's why I've not bought them yet. But now that we're being a little bit more dishonourable, I'm going to buy it. I'm outnumbered. I don't think we have to kill anyone for this mission. I think also make sure you've got this as well, the wind chime power. And also, if you've got it available, um, 
there's a charm, which I think you get from one of Lady Masako's missions, and uh, when someone picks up the charm, it poisons them. So that might be another one that's good to have for this mission. Why would the Move closer to the lighthouse, do not raise the alarm. Okay. Take it, just like you did here. This is our last chance to stop him. These flowers? The same ones I used to make my poison. The Mongols have been here picking them. To use against us. Did we do the right thing at your uncle's castle? No, it was definitely a mistake. I, I didn't agree with that at all. I was too eager to stop the Khan. You couldn't have known he'd learned from you. It was always a risk. Now our people may suffer even more. You're right. We need to kill him. Soon. Yeah. I definitely didn't agree with using the poison at Castle Shimmera. I would have preferred to have just snuck her across the bridge and just fought them head on. Like on my own without the rest of the army. But obviously you didn't get that choice. <laughs> you didn't get that choice at all. We can't get in the front. But we could climb around the cliff. And sneak in through the back. Lead the way. Yeah, I think this is the way we need to go. Because if I remember correctly, I can kill these dudes really easily. And then I remember there being a couple of dudes who were standing near a bush. Then I have to take them down with my double assassination power that I just unlocked. And then there was one annoying guy that I couldn't get rid of. Even with wind chimes, you won't get out of the way sometimes. So uh, we'll have to see how we do. But you could come back here later and kill everybody. And light this lighthouse if you want to get the trophy. But you can't do it during the mission. You've got to come back later. Because if you light the lighthouse, then they're just going to notice where you are, isn't they? <laughs> That's going to be like a giant target right on your head. Oh, oh, that was flipping close, that was. This bit looks a bit like God of War. You know when you have to go up to the top of that mountain in God of War? Remember that, like, snowy bit? Lovely. Reminds me of that. I flipping love God of War. I don't know what's my favourite PlayStation exclusive out of all the games on the PS4 generation. I don't know which one wins. Ghost of Tsushima is very high on that list, though. Sucker Punch has done amazingly, but... I don't know which my, I don't know what my number one overall will be. It's got to be this or God of War, because out of those two games, I didn't have any issues with those games at all. Mind you, God of War, the only thing I wasn't happy about, there wasn't any massive monsters to really fight. It was a bit low on the bosses, and they were very easy, the bosses. So, except the Valkyries, they were difficult. I don't know, maybe Ghost of Tsushima might actually be, maybe my favourite. I'd have to get all of the, I'd have to get a big list of all the games together and have a look. But Ghost of Tsushima is very high on that list, um... Very impressed with what Sucker Punch has done. That was nice, wasn't it? You see that? That was a nice that was a nice kill, wasn't it? You liked that, didn't you, Wolf Morphesh? You liked that, didn't you? You see how easy it is to play stealthily though. <laughs> so much better. So much easier. I recommend if you're playing easy and normal, play honorably. If you're playing hard or lethal or new difficult way, then maybe play in uh, stealth. In lethal mode, you probably do have to play in stealth. I'm just going to wait for that uh, archer to come over here and then we'll take him down. Hindman. Oh shit, he saw the body. <laughs> Did he see the body? Oh crap, he just blew his trumpet. Oh no, oh this ain't going to be good. We can't be seen during this mission, can we? Don't raise the alarm, yeah. Can I kill you still? If you upgrade your little dagger, I forgot what it's called, but you actually increase the speed of your stealth kill, so that's a good reason to upgrade that. But uh, I don't think we've upgraded it. I think we've only got like one upgrade for it. I don't actually know. No, we've got two upgrades for it. Alright, it doesn't look like anyone else is coming. But that dude over there, he's the annoying one. He's the one that won't never ever come out. I need to get the upgrade that lets me walk quicker in listen mode. How many dudes are down there? Three. So we need to lure this guy out and then we're going to have to try and like... Shoot him in the head or something. If they glow white, that means they're going to follow your wind chime. See? Just so you know, the right enemy is going to follow the noise. If he looks the other way, I'll stab him. Can I see his face? Oh, here we go. Quick. Hopefully that other dude doesn't see me. 
Right, we need to wait for those twats to leave now because we need to get through there. I mean, I don't really want to shoot them because then all of the other guards are going to be alerted and they're going to come over here and start snooping around and if they spot me, we have to do all this bit again, so... There's a lot of people down there, isn't there? Why are they just standing there? They don't normally do this. I guess we could try and kill them, hopefully no one will see. No, no, quick! <laughs> I swear that first arrow was a headshot, come on! Now we're going to have to do all that bit again, that is shit that is. We've got to do the whole bit again? No, we've got to do some of it again. If we kill this guy here, maybe the other guy won't see him. Right, come on you, hurry up. But make sure you press triangle. And then triangle again. There you go. It's really cool doing that, especially when there's like uh, three enemies together. It's really nice. we got to kill this guy though, because he will spot me. Hopefully that dude doesn't see me. Please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me. Alright, if we get two headshots this time, it should work a bit better. Quick. Oh, that was very close. That was very close. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't like this mission. There's got to be a way of getting in there easier. I suppose you could go around that way. Maybe. Yeah, you probably could do that, to be honest. Oh, no. I don't think it matters if they blow the horn. It's only if they see you and blow the horn. Oh no, I think they're leaving. Shit. Roll. Oh, that was close. Investigate the barrels. Alright, I better not get seen if I investigate these barrels though. Hey, look, some linen. What is it? What's in all these barrels? Supplies? Flowers. Poison. One barrel holds enough to kill hundreds. The Khan will use this against the mainland. We can't let him leave Tsushima. We'll scout Port Izumi from the top of the lighthouse. Right behind you. Okay. So he's going to use all of this poison for when he attacks the mainland, which makes complete sense, doesn't it? Could you imagine that? Thinking up a way to even the odds against the Mongols and then they use it against you. You must feel pretty bad, eh, Jin? You must feel pretty bad. Although I did warn you, don't use the poison. Not because Lord Shimmer, I told you not to, because Lord Shimmer is just being stupid. Obviously, I do want to play honourably and I probably do lean more towards... Lord Shimmerer's way, but the way Lord Shimmerer treats Jin and trying to arrest him and send him to the Shogun, I don't agree with all that. Maybe punish him, take away his samurai status, but don't, don't send him to practically be killed by the Shogun. That's a terrible idea. But, um, yeah, I, I didn't agree with the poison. And this is why. <laughs> this is why. It's a terrible idea. Oh, careful. Oh man, look at the amount of poison they've got. We need to set fire to this lighthouse. That's what we need to do. Look at the waves. They're flat. The kind you see before a storm. That could work to our advantage. For now, I'll leave the lighthouse dark. Make sure the Mongols can't use it when the storm hits. We can relight it once they're gone. Let's get a look at the port. 
I mean, we can't we can't light it right now because if we light it right now, every single Mongol in this army is going to see us standing up here at the lighthouse. It's got nothing to do with helping the Mongol ships during a storm. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with that. Come on, man, look at this place. It's going to be an absolute nightmare of a battle when we arrive here. It's going to be amazing. Let's find our plan of attack. Okay. The Mongols left that area empty. Too open. Can't defend it. But a good place for an ambush. That it is. That it is. That ridge has an open sight line to the Mongol fleet. Imagine what we could do to their ships if we had our own watchers. Oh, if we had our own watchers. <laughs> I would love to have a few watchers. The Khan won't stand a chance against a, against a watcher, will he? Oh, that'd be great. He wants to have a nice, unhonourable fight. We'll give him an unhonourable fight. We'll wait for him to be standing in the open and just shoot a Hawacha at him. That would be be beautiful. Very unsatisfying, but it would be very beautiful, wouldn't it? We could place archers there. Force the Mongols to fight uphill? Ah, uh, Cotton would send horsemen to outflank us. <laughs> See how the birds are circling? Like they're scared of something on its way. The storm. Preparing to fly inland for shelter. Yeah, you can always rely on the animals to know about storms and stuff. The harbour master's estate. The Khan may have taken it for himself. Close to the docks and his fleet. Makes sense. The Khan is almost ready to sail for our mainland. With ships full of men, explosives, and my poison. If we don't stop him here. Shogun, it will fall. The storm is our key to beating him. When it comes, the Khan will have to shelter his fleet in the bay. That's when we strike. Destroy his ships and everything on them. To do this, we'll need Mongol weapons. A simple task for a master thief. <laughs> we'll need fighters, too. A small force could distract the Mongols while I get inside Port Izmi. Kill the Khan. It could work. Let's get back to Jokaku and prepare. A gathering storm. Plan the attack on the Khan stronghold completed. Lovely. So what is what is it we need? We need a couple of Hawachas, which Yuna will be able to get for us because Yuna is the master thief. And we need a small force to distract the Mongols whilst I sneak in and fight the Khan. I think we've practically got all of those, haven't we? We've already got a small force. We've got Lady Masako, you know, we've got Kenji, we've got Sensei, we've got Norio, we've got Yuna, we've got me. We've also got a little army of people, ain't we? We've got like a little army of um, like Yarikawa forces, ain't we? So we've already got a small army, ain't we? Uh, sorry if you keep hearing my uh, phone go at the moment. Um, I forgot to pull it on silent, but one of my cousin's boyfriend has been very ill recently and he's got a lot of the symptoms of this COVID-19 and uh, I've got my phone on because I'm waiting to hear if he's actually got COVID or not. Because if he has got COVID, I would also need to be tested because I've seen him and I've got asthma, so it would be bad for me. But um, yeah, I, I, that's why my phone keeps going off. I should be reading it, but it should be okay. If it goes off too many times, I have to go and read the messages, but... Yeah, sorry if you can keep hearing it. That's why it's on loud. Normally, I try and pull it on silent. Although, I do forget to pull it on silent quite regularly as well. Right, we'll have a chat with Yuna in a second. And uh, first things first, I want to grab this gift. Lovely. 30 linen. 30 iron. 30 bamboo. No supplies, though. Right. Contact Lord Shimura to coordinate your attack. Is that what I'm doing now? Right, let's have a chat with you now. I've got about 10 minutes of this video left. I've got some good news. How are the plans coming? Kenji found where we can steal watches from the Mongols. I'm heading there now. That's a good start. But we need more fighters. 
No. My uncle wants the Khan dead as much as we do. He'll join our attack. He'll throw you in prison. I'll write him a message. Leave it in his quarters. In a castle full of samurai. I'll be gone before they know I was there. Not letting you leave without a good horse. Oh yeah? Hey, what was that? Hey, what was that? You're not letting me leave without a good horse? What are you trying to say? Right, I know we lost Nobu, the most majestic steed of all time, but we've got our friend Dave, the black horse. I mean, he tried to buck me off in the last video, I think, but he's a pretty damn good horse. How dare you? What you lost. No, you definitely you can't replace Nobu. Look at this! This is bloody Nobu 2.0! Oh, this is the Deluxe Edition horse. So you can get your Deluxe Edition horse back if you want it. Yeah, look. Select horse, Digital Deluxe. Okay. So if you want to get your uh, Digital Deluxe horse back because you're livid that you lost it, you can actually get it again. But to be honest, I don't... Oh, look, it's a white one! Here we can finally have a horse like Eureka! I'm not going to pick this one because I feel like that's a bit of an insult, you know? Like, if I was to buy another dog if my dog died, and even if I was going to get another German Shepherd, I would make sure it's definitely not the exact same colouring as my dog Sammy, because I would feel like that's a bit insulting. So I'd at least get a German Shepherd that was like a black one, or a white German Shepherd, or at least one that's got different colourings. I couldn't pick the exact same animal, because I'd feel like I'm shitting on my other animal. So I, I can't pick you. You're very cute. You're very, very cute, but I'm going to have to pick the white one, I think. We've got Black Beauty over here. Oh, look at them eyes. That is gorgeous, ain't it? You've got some beautiful eyes, ain't ya? You're a good girl. You are a good girl, aren't ya? Look at those beautiful eyes. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, that is, they are some amazing eyes, ain't they? I do like a good pair of eyes. This one's like got pure white eyes. It looks a bit blind, ain't you? I'm going to pick the white one, I think, because that is very beautiful. Plus, it matches my armour. I look a bit like Gandalf, don't I, in my white armour. Gandalf the White. <laughs> a digital deluxe horse is available, but you have chosen the white horse. <laughs> if you choose this horse, it will be yours for the rest of the entire journey. Yeah, okay. Easy there. It's alright. Oh, we get to name it again. What you name this one? K's Wind Sora Sky Cage Shadow. I think I'm going to name this one Sora. Because Sky, you know, you can get White Sky quite often. Shadow, it definitely doesn't suit a White Horse. And Wind, I suppose, could be a good name. I'm going to pick Sora, named after one of my favourite subscribers on YouTube. So, uh, shout out to Sora. Make sure you follow Sora on Twitter. Sora Wolf Kibber. Because she does some very, very nice drawings. So, definitely go and check her out on Twitter. But yeah, we're going to pick Sora. Sora, light from the heavens. You have chosen to name your horse Sora Sky. This will be your companion's name for your entire journey. Are you sure? Yes. I'm glad it checks, though. How will you get inside your uncle's castle? I grew up there, and I still remember every hidden path through those old walls. Even as a boy, Lord Shimura couldn't keep up with me. <laughs> Lovely. Enter Castle Shimura from the north. Okay. Right. Obviously, we are going to fast travel as close as we can. Uh, shit. Ah, oh, I could fast travel here, lovely. I thought I wasn't going to be able to fast travel anywhere. Yeah, we're going to fast travel here. I always feel so dirty fast travelling. I feel so dirty doing it. <laughs> but I have to do it on YouTube just because of, um, obviously, I know the attention span of viewers on YouTube isn't the best. So uh, if I spend like an entire video running across country, that's a very niche audience. That's why uh, that's why I'm very surprised that Sips of the Yogscast managed to get so many subscribers because Sips is definitely like a niche kind of guy because he, he will be, he will take his time with games and be very, very slow. 
and he will savour every morsel of that game and he'll travel around, he gets bloody sidetracked, he is a right nightmare, but that's why you love Sips. That's why I love Sips, you know, because he is amazing. <laughs> he is my, he's got to be one of my favourites on YouTube, but uh, I'm very much like Sips with how I play, but a little bit less. <laughs> But if you do, if you spend too much time getting sidetracked, you know, a lot of your, a lot of the people on YouTube just get annoyed about it or click off the video. So I, I try to make it as balanced as possible. Not rush through the game, but not take too long, you know. But if I was playing this on my own, I would probably run from Yuna all the way to Castle Shimmera. There'd be no need to do it, but I would just do it anyway. <laughs> We're going the wrong bloody way. Enter Castle Shimmera from the north. Uh, I think I'm going to end the video now. It's going to be about five minutes shorter, but I don't want to like half start this mission. So we've got our new horse. We've got our... Um... Jin, why did you run away? I wanted to catch an eel for your dinner. Were you planning to catch it with your bare hands? Yuzo said you'd get rid of me as soon as you had a son of your own. Jin, come here. Your friend is wrong. The path ahead may take a lifetime, but I will walk it with you, always. Well, that cutscene popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> I was going to say I'm going to end the video because I didn't want to start this uh, mission and then have to end it like two seconds into the mission. But that cutscene made this video a bit longer anyway. It's near enough 30 minutes now anyway. But yeah, thanks for watching Wolf Wolf It's Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Next time, we're going to sneak into Castle Shimmera and we're going to leave a message for our uncle letting him know of our plan and then fingers crossed he does come and help us in the battle but fingers crossed he doesn't also turn up to the battle and sink an arrow in my skull because <laughs> you never bloody know do you especially in this game because Jin, Jin's having a rough time ain't he I do feel sorry for Jin especially after he rescued his uncle from the uh, castle and then uh, that's how he got thanked for the whole thing bloody annoying isn't it but you know it is what it is but thanks for watching Wolf Wolf hopefully you enjoyed this video like share and join the pack today